Hi everybody, welcome to Goblin Stone. I was just telling the Twitch chat here, if you're joining us over on youtube.com slash beartap, this is a game that has been described to me as a combination of Darkest Dungeon and Bastion with incredibly smooth and fluid animation, wonderful, what appears to be hand-drawn art, and the soundtrack, that, you, as you can hear already, is absolutely fantastic. I think I might even need to turn that down just a bit. Just a little bit. As good as it is. But yeah. Looking forward to it. Let's check out Goblin Stone. And so, the story begins. Good narrator, too. Oh, baby. We're in for a treat. Dungeons. A most familiar setting for the earnest adventurer. Dark and musty halls. Teeming with foul creatures. Forgotten treasures and copious amounts of experience points. Entombed in this particular cavernous hallway is an artifact of profound significance. A gemstone like no other. In pursuit of this artifact, three stoic adventurers delve into the darkness, eager to plumb its depths, unwitting to what lies in wait. Time for the tutorial. All right, so you can either press and hold left mouse or just use A and D. Wouldn't mind if this is a mouse only game. We'll be down with that. Hey, Kevin, thank you for the sub. Arduin, thank you for the gifty as well. Welcome on in. Go for it, buddy. The common goblin, widely regarded as a hideous and feeble minion. Oh, we're 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 getting a getting a, a, a subverted expectation here. I think coming up, it's my prediction. Eager to avouch the future of its experience points, they are sorted. Combat is turn-based. Everyone falls in line to attack. Kill all foes to win the battle. Everyone will move to the center along this time bar. Okay. When the character reaches the middle, their turn starts. You can see the order that they're going to be going in as well really quickly there. That's nice. Select and attack the plucky strike. Okay. Ooh. The presentation here is on point. I love the, the little animated guy down here. Love the smoothness of this animation. Okay, okay, I'm into it. Little goblin fella, looking terrified. That ability will move you back by three time units? Yeah, let's call it that. All right then. Oh, poor thing. After attacking, position changes, okay. Ah, so we're in position according to our lineup on the time bar as well. Noted. Knock back all foes, but get pushed back one yourself. Or is that... No, knock back means get pushed back by one. Got it, okay. Let me just straight up hack him. Let's try this out. Very good. One of your characters is tired. This happens after using the ability with a high cost. Characters that are tired take more damage when attacked. Tired and more vulnerable to attacks, right? Okay. Noted. Lightning bolt. Ooh, guaranteed stun. That seems good. Also death. That'll probably be pretty effective. A loot bag. An honest reward for dispatching the squalid creature. All right, so not the subversion I was expecting there, but I'm 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 still predicting it. I'm I'm still locking that in. Most foes drop valuable items when killed. Choose loot carefully. Only have limited bag space. Oh, baby, inventory management. Let's keep some junk. Mm, meager spoils. I'm gonna be a hoarder. Perhaps the next yield will be a bit more substantial. I think I have the same prediction as you. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, we given the name of the game. I'd be surprised if we maintain this party of adventurers, right? They just also seem More sort of goblins. like 
intentionally um, has beset these hapless few. Standard, for lack of a better word, crushed beneath the rubble. They, they seem like they're meant to serve a different purpose than to be, your, you know, your leading adventurers. They attack the goblins in distress. Stereotypical, yeah, there you go. That's a better word for it. The next indicator shows you whose turn is coming up next. I got that much. Thankfully. You can now use this ability now that there's more foes. This also inflicts stun. Wow, damn. All right, then. That's excellent. Look how smooth that is. Wobbling around like that. It changes his little portrait down here, too. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see. Let's go for the hack this time. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Just a straight up smack. A wizard's only weakness. Smacked across the mouth. I'll do that to him too. I I can't help but imagine the uh, positioning is gonna play a large role in future strategy. Yeah, why not? Let's roar at him. I'll resist it. Well, all right then. Let's whack him back. Oh, buddy. Okay, lucky strike. Push him off. Then what you got next, pal? I was ready for the super. The hyper combo. And then just fallen friends. Nah, we're just gonna beat him up like bullies. Alright then. More junk. Hooray! bounty. One must slay great quantities of goblin for a decent recompense. Well, let's go commit genocide, I guess. Hooray! They chance upon greedy little. See, yeah, this guy's not the hero. Come on. Treasure rightfully theirs. Being plundered in front of their very eyes. That's way too evil of a grin. Quickly, they interrupt and lay claim to the treasure. Jeez, just the, the eyebrows alone tell the tale. These poor, pitiful creatures. I'm just hucking rocks at their face. more and more difficult to justify our position here. And we were, st we're literally like faceless adventurers here too, right? Like, come on now. I need the writings on the wall for these three. Although I'm certainly uh, coming to realize that uh, it's going to be an uphill battle if we do end up taking control of this lot. We're going to weigh up from the Two damage smack attack. Much prefer the whack, apparently. Yeah, but they have epic loot, and I want it justified for me. I, I mean, that's as much as we usually need, right? Something, something. Uh, manifest destiny. All right. Goblins soon realize they have no chance at survival. In desperation, they hurl their loot at the assailants. <laughs> That's good. A renewal. There he is. Welcome back. Hell yeah. Some bare nice for him, please. Without telling, Thanks for the 69. Welcome back. The goblins back. withdraw into the sanctuary of darkness. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad for him. How strange. These creatures were fully expected to die. Perhaps their journey will be worth following. There we go. As expected. Our, our true heroes have emerged. Two little goblins. One despondent. One morose. And both with the shivers. 
This reminds me of the start of Ori. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> okay. A yeah, this is probably more our speed. Occasional snack for a hungry goblin. Ooh. At this size, however, the roles are reversed. They have names. Uh oh, we might have a pygmy opportunity here. All right, so they got the smack. They got a stone throw themselves, and they've also got a shove. Good look. Just be a little bit better off now. They got the stun here, which is gonna allow us to sneak in. Just try the knockback, I guess, and then see if maybe. We can keep them from ever acting. Oh, they still got the first move, okay. Spider strike. Okay, let's actually deal some damage here. Yeah, get him. Get him, brother. Yeah, finish him off with a good old fashioned smack. Good old smashing hope emerges crack. as the goblins dispatch the threat. Loose pile of coins can be used at the merchant. Sweet. Punching a spider is a thought that sends chills down my spine. Well, I mean, that would involve a spider that's of a size there capable of light. being punched. Finally, a path out of this abyss. Which would be mostly the source of the jitters for me. I think the, 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 the largest spider size I could po possibly be comfortable with without wanting to, like, immediately vacate the premises is, like, maybe the size of my skull, but even that... Eh. I don't want to be around one of those, because that, that means they could, there could be more of those, and I don't want to be around more of those one bit. A glint beneath the rubble. I don't even have arachnophobia. That just seems terrifying. I can't do arachnophobia. <laughs> arachnophobia for spiders of a certain size. There's got to be like an extra prefix we can add to that to make it the correct word, right? When characters are surprised in battle, they start further back on their time bar, and this allows their foes an advantage. Time for a spider strike. <laughs> I'm talking probably including the legs, I suppose, London. Yeah, if you're talking about a spider whose body is the size of my skull, I'm getting the fuck out of there, dude. No, thank you. Uh, let's see. I mean, we might as well just keep smacking, right? I don't know if we need too much strategy right now. Yeah, brand new Jax. I'm not even out yet, actually. They're giving me... Permission to stream a little early here, thankfully. Shout out to the team, by the way, for hooking us up with the uh, early code for it. In fact, that reminds me, I've got two extra codes for Goblin Stone, which would be fit for giveaway here for the pile. So if we want to go ahead and just start a little good old fashioned pick me, yeah, that seems appropriate. Let's do that. And then we're going to draw ourselves a couple of names at the end of the stream here. So feel free to get in now, and don't worry if you need to get going at some point in the future. I'll draw a couple of names uh, at the end of the stream, and I'll send you a DM with a code for this game, Goblin Stone. They survived the ambush. Which has been pretty adorable so far. I wonder if I kept my junker, if they just happened to have some as well. Oh, we we did it! <laughs> we found it, everybody. GG. We win. Title drop. As curiosity surpasses reason, they unearth the strange object. It indeed appears to be the artifact the adventurers so fervently coveted. As the stone awakens from its slumber, it radiates a light both beautiful and blinding. Strange spirits emanate from the stone. They swirl and undulate in jubilation. As the awestruck goblins peer into the brightness, the spirits speak out. They bid the goblins to seek a sacred place deep within the woods, and there rest the stone. Faced with such a spectacle, 
The goblins muster what they can to break their stupor. They pocket the stone and head for the surface. Palm, would you do me a favor and repost that pin message just to include a message about the pick me giveaway as well? Or any mod, really. That would be dope. Thank you very much. This game is gorgeous. I am super excited just to see all the different environments coming up here. So let's get to it. Gotta start in the old woods. Coming into heavy the light, Ori vibes from this. They are greeted by spring winds and the echo of new leaves stirring in the breeze. Which are great vibes to get. A mysterious stone is told of the ruins within these woods. Goblins have been charged to seek it out and place the stone inside. Okay. Let's do it. We're starting proper here, it feels like now. So now I'm curious. You can view each goblin's stats, abilities, and manage their equipment. You can also reorder their combat positions to suit your strategy. Can we, too, possibly rename them? Because I'd love that. Oh, that makes me so freaking happy. Okay, here we go. Double pick me time. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to say uh, goblin, I guess. Goblin's our keyword for our second giveaway here. So that's a pick me if you want to be drawn for the giveaway. If you want to have a goblin named after you right now, well, then you just type goblin in chat, like Mubot just told you. We're going to rename everybody after members of chat, Darkest Dungeon style. Oh, boy, that's fun. Okay. Let's take a look at this UI while we're here as well, just so I can become a little bit more familiar with what's going on. So we got weapons that we could potentially equip for them, which it looks like the weapons give you new skills, along with these other abilities that you can uh, learn as well. Also, every goblin comes with a unique genetic code, of course, generating tr genetic traits that modify stats and abilities. Each goblin can have up to four traits, but only two can be active at a time. Cool. Okay. They also have an appearance. Interesting. That doesn't appear to change their, uh, their look in their portrait, but I wonder if that affects other stuff. Hey, that's awesome, Cho. Good. Yeah, I don't know why that went away. That was weird, but I'm glad it got fixed. Okay, cool. So yeah, last call if you want to be a goblin here. We're going to go ahead and draw for that giveaway now. We'll rename uh, Gimp and Cave here. Gimp Roamer is a very interesting... <laughs> I wonder if that's... If they're all named that to begin with, or if that was just a random generation. All right, who's going to be our very first goblin here today? That's going to be Lyra. Lyra Soul P. Lyr Lyrasol? Is that how I should say that? It'll be our goblin all the same. And then, Miachelis? Mia Two names that I might have butchered the pronunciation of, but I welcome you all the same. Lyrasol. Lyrasol LP. Ah, Lyrasol LP. Gotcha. I think I said it right. Okay, anyway. Welcome to the team. Miachelis as well. Welcome on in. Are two peons looking fairly similar here, although uh, Lyra's been in better shape, obviously. Let's see if I can get him healed up. A place of respite for the weary. Oh, this is fun. Increase speed by 5%. I mean, I definitely feel like I should do this, but you know I'm gonna do this. They rest like and a reflect fool. upon the day's events. Let's see how long I'll live. Yeah, that didn't give you a lot of confidence, did it? My refusal to heal you when clearly absolutely necessary. Oops. All right. Oh, man. Those little, those little jiggles of the icons. Those are very satisfying to me. I like that a lot. Ah, and you can see our quirks down here. Okay, nice. You get our gold up top. Thankfully, it doesn't look like my face is blocking anything. A term, an industry term that I learned years ago and forced myself to commit to memory because I realized that it would be helpful in describing many games in my future. Parallax scrolling. 
That's right, pile. Parallax scrolling. The phenomenon that allows you to behold 2D images as though they were three-dimensional. Layering those images and changing the rate at which they scroll past on screen in order to better convey that effect. Pay attention to, in this particular instance, these shrubs up in the foreground, this second layer of grass and hill stuff in the background, coupled with the rocks slightly behind that, and then behind it all, our sky, complete with the clouds and the blue all the way in the very back. And then just pay attention to the way those things scroll at different rates as you go across screen. It's cool. I like it. It's a fun effect. Oh, cool. I was expecting cutscene here. That's a neat little map pop up. Old Brook Fields. The mysterious stone has told us of a room within these woods. Let's lay the stone to rest. Find the ancient ruins. I don't know why I can't scroll down there. That's weird. You can see our rewards here as well. 300 gold coins. Hello, rich people. They're calling to join you. Yes, I'll hold. Let's steal a quote directly from community. Let's do it. In you go. In you go. Friends! Oh. A bittersweet reunion, as oh. they discover their camp had been further ravaged by adventurers. A goblin lies barely breathing. Their dungeon loot was never treasure, but medicines direly needed for their wounded. With their loot now lost, they wallow in despair. A queer sensation interrupts the morose scene, as the stone artifact acts on its own accord. The group beholds the spectacle, agape with wonder. The languishing goblin is bathed in a warm glow. Its wounds oh, slowly mend as it returns to health. As the light subsides, bewilderment gradually gives way to joy. Mm -hmm. Yo. Reunited, they now set out for the forest's edge. Let's go, dude. Brought back to us once more, and that means two new names to draw. Oh, baby, keep typing goblin in chat. Which has the dual effect of entertaining me, because it makes me think that people are just entering chat and seeing a goblin on screen, and then being like, oh, bear, goblin. That, go bear, that's a goblin. I know what that is. Lord Hako certainly knows what a goblin is. They're going to be one. If they don't, they better freaking find out quick. Welcome on in. Look at that there goblin bear. That's a dang old goblin. Looks like grandma the freaking thing. Captain London. He'll be joining us as our fourth gobbo, our rookie raider. Who has uh, some new abilities, actually. Wakey wakey which sadly cannot be used with no weapon equipped. Same with the exterminate, apparently. Oh, he can't use any of this to, stuff without a weapon. But every one mind point gives him an additional crit chance. That's cool. What are mind points? Where do we see those? Somewhere in this. Oh, here it is. Yeah, body, mind, and spirit. Got it. Get two crit from that anyway. So yeah, wow, he's going to be all in on the mind. Me. Yeah, right, do that too. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. I gotta get the treasure first, obviously. Goblin, by the way. That's a goblin right there. Snag it. Oh, some weapons. How convenient. A chiseled stick and a rock on a stick. We're really starting from square one here. I appreciate that. Click this to equip. On... Oh, okay. So you can click a weapon from your inventory 
and it will pull up your list of goblins over here, and you can choose who to equip it to. I like that. Sells for 400 gold. Yeah, it's, it's more expensive than the reward for the quest we're on right now. That makes me wonder which of those is wrongly valued. All right, and then we can go back to the inventory here. We can find... Oh, did I have to choose between two of those things? I think that's just what happened there. I thought I was going to get both of them, but no, I guess we just get to rock on a stick instead. That's yeah, fine. I'll take it. And there you go. I would just learn on our sales time. I'm, I'm about 30 minutes in here. The way so is shot. Just getting started. I do have both of them? Did I just not see it in the inventory? Hold on. Weapons. I've only seen the one. Did I have it somewhere else? Gabo's got. Maybe he already equipped it. I doubt it. London's got nothing. Lord Hakos has the chiseled stick. Which he's got equipped. Oh, I see. No, you're right. You're right. Thank you. Yeah. Figured I was just misinterpreting it. Okay, cool. It looks like we're just going further this way already, too. Sounds good. They chance upon a carcass concealed by the stench. A small trove of unclaimed meat and giblets. Might as well use it, right? Some leather and bone. Scavenge to the bone, leaving nothing to waste. Mushroom. Yeah, thank you, right. <laughs> We're just playing the identification game now. Uh, tree, cloud. Cloud, uh, 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 what appears to be an obelisk in the background, bear. I don't know if you saw that. Among the treasure, a lone iron key. Ooh. What might it unlock? Those mushrooms are cool looking, though. There's a wide variety of, uh, what's the flora? That's the word I'm looking for, the, 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 the fauna one, but for plants. Well, I got, I got a good idea of what this might open up. I've got my suspicions. Flora, yeah, yeah, right, thank you. Keep it, keep it up. There we go. It's a clever way of creating layers to the 2D movement as well. I like the that. The iron key unlocks the gateway. The path forward okay, becomes Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Wolves and spiders. Wolves. Yeah, the, the darkest Such dungeon influence feet. is clear. <laughs> more salivate for goblin flesh. They're filthy maws. If you wish, you can redraw a set of new abilities. Huh, that's that's fun. Okay. So you've got your set, like, four or five, but only three are ever going to show up on your move. And then if I redraw, I can get something maybe, maybe slightly more effective for the situation. That's an interesting... Huh. It's kind of a deck builder in that regard, then. <laughs> Yeah, music is on point, isn't it? I haven't really noticed the, the battle theme yet. The way it uh, mutes for the attacks is very effective, too. All right, let's focus on the first one. Seems you always get the weapon attack and then get two out of four abilities at random. Okay, okay, yeah. Right, yeah, that definitely seems to be the case. Deal 65% damage twice. If target has stun, freeze, or slow, add a finale for 70%. Let's try that out. Whoa, <laughs> the early bear optimal. Naturally, if we're gonna play like a game like this, that's gotta happen, right? Let's get that stone throw out there again, see what we can do with this stun. Okay, okay, this is going well. So young wolf A is about to act, having gotten through their stun now. If target dies, this ability only costs one I guess I'd call that stamina, I suppose. This is probably a better word for it than, like, time units. Cannot be used on the first turn, which thankfully is not the case here. Okay, that seems pretty damn good then. Get the kill, and he's still got first to act. Ooh, that's really nice. Stun meta just like Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be pretty damn good. <laughs> Turns out it still is. 
So we got three actions here prior to the young wolf going, so hopefully we can find a way to take him out before he's able to <laughs> slash at us again. Maybe even knock him back a little. Ah, oh, we got the exterminate again here. 130% damage. Yeah, that'll have to do it. And the man with the crit. Let's go. I like the look of that a lot. That's nice. A goblin's world is full of peril, and there are many who hunt them. Dang, dude. 100 gold coins. Okay. I think it's a safe bet, Cho. I think you might as well go ahead and get started on that. I think we're going to need a Ch uh, Cho-style thumbnail for this one. I mostly just want to see your interpretation of this thumbnail. I think you're going to do a bang-up job with it. And that is nice to see, too. A little healing? Oh, just take that in, man. Oh, that is beautiful. I could sit here for a few minutes. That's so charming. It's clearly a lot of love poured into the into the art style for this one. Perfectly fitting music, too. Love it. Would he a go be a gobear or a bearblin? A go gobearlin. Gobberlin. Gobberlin. Yeah, that's got to be it. They breach through to the edge of the woods. We're just gonna ignore that giant stone goblin head at staring last, at us. They find a pathway out and venture into the open world. And it's probably for the best. A renewal. Welcome back. Able 100. Thank you for the 31 months. Welcome back into the pile. Nature finds a way, huh? How the heck is that thing growing? That is... That is unique. Oh, the little waterfall going there, too. That's nice. This feels like it's going to be something later, but maybe I'm reading into that too much. We didn't find the ancient ruins or rest the stone, but apparently that doesn't matter too much right now. Off we go, then. Adventure spoils. Get all that extra loot. Souls, apparently. Okay, okay. I was mentioning Ori. True, yeah, that, that is strong Ori vibes from that glowing blue tree on the top of the... top of the mountain back there, huh? Great soundtrack. Out to the ancient ruins. Okay, apparently this is where we were looking to go. New enemies to scout. Ah, the little animations and the portraits there too. That's great. Alrighty. Can I have up to six goblins with your party. That'll add for some... Or that'll hopefully make for some interesting added dynamics. They enter a deeper part of the woods. The scent of danger lingers heavy. This room Ahead, by room an exploration. Nests. Quietly they sneak. Of course, feels familiar to us, but I again I like the way that they've added the layers to it. And then it just feels so much more natural too to be going through these areas. They don't feel like a renewal. what they Welcome clearly back. are, which is that DDS room by room exploration. It just feels like a, a fully, uh, what am I trying to say? Like the, the, the area just feels as though it is one big map that has just been cut into these explorable chunks, which is very enjoyable so far. Sneaky, sneaky. Caught off guard. He braces for battle. I don't actually know how I snuck there, by the way. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna let me know after this. 
add another bleed or refresh the duration. This will add a bleed, or is that only if they have bleed, it does something else? Oh, this has the chance to bleed. Okay, so we probably want to start with that, I guess. A weary adventure is going to be pretty easy then. <laughs> Nah, I, I don't blame you, Seth. Kind of same here, honestly. That was easy enough. Bye-bye. To be felled by the goblins he hunts. <laughs> How shame. How embarrassing. His quarry watches you from behind iron bars. Medium-sized adventurer items of no use to goblins. These ones seem to be in poor condition. Hey there! Add the new goblin. Uh, yeah. Get him in there. Pelt balker. Alright. That, that ain't gonna do. We're gonna need a new name for that. We're gonna reset here as well. Make sure you get a fresh entry here for the goblin drawing if you'd like to be selected. Make sure we got folks that are here and ready to go, ready for action. That'll do, right? Yeah. Send it. Another Hooray. one joins their company. This fellow is clad in armor. They sure are, aren't they? I'd like some armor. Oh, and wielding the wooden stool. Nice. The most effective of makeshift shields. Gives him the bash here as well with a small chance to stun. So the fact that we were getting skills that just gave us a stun out of the gate, yeah, it was clearly just as good as I thought it was. If that's only a 20%. Let's find out who's going to join us here. It's going to be Stefson. Welcome into the squad, Steph. Armor up. Intercept. Intercept the first or second foe's attacks and gain one armor. Interesting. How's he holding that stool? You know how stools are, how they have a handle for holding them from the front, should you need to do so. Or from the top, I guess. Real comfortable for sitting. The path will often split in two, each offering its own allure and possibilities. Both paths will eventually lead to your goal. Once you've chosen a path, you'll no longer be... Oh, okay. So it's unlike Darkest Dungeon's map ex exploration in that you are unable to go to every available room. You're going to have to make a choice. I do wonder if it's going to... Oh, it, it clearly is already. Yeah, it's giving you an idea of what to expect. Either harvest or treasure. Well, I know where my immediate allegiances lie. A little more junk, a little more gold. You'd think it would be rigged that way for you, right? Back or just <laughs> called you backwards. Don't allow me to be fully impersonal with you, dude. Once you commit to a path, you can no longer return. Oh yeah, we, we, we covered that. And one of these days, I'll, I'll create a VIPs only draw for those who's. Actions I've arbitrarily deemed worthy of Mubot rigging. So we can see what was up there. I think I might have missed something back here as well. I feel like there was probably more than just that. It doesn't look like there's anything else to explore for the most part. I do already find myself wondering if, like, the, the, the linearity of moving from the start to the end of a room is gonna get mixed up all that much or if the the variety simply comes from Diligence what you'll find within its fruit this is the full release here sexy hog this is gonna be out on the 12th i want to say there was once a time when goblins were plentiful in these woods these few the last of the green goblins are all that remain or in stone. Ah, build and upgrade the lair. Okay. Nothing must be wasted. Oh, hold on. I definitely feel like I missed something there. There's a shiny little rock in the foreground. There we go. 
rummage for additional gold. Nice. We got a lot of loot we're bringing home, at least. Yeah, that sounds right, Seth. Oh, uh, I think I might be releasing it like midnight, but like, it's usually like 10 a.m. though for Steam releases. Hey, buddy. They happen upon a downtrodden orc still clad in rags and shackles. At his feet, a freshly dug grave adorned with a bone club buried in the barrow. The goblins timorously disturb the orc in his mourning. Uneasily, they speak to him, ask about a nearby ruin in these woods. Barely noticing their presence, the orc wipes away a tear with one hand as he raises the other to give direction. Goblin! Politely thanking the grieving orc, the goblins discreetly withdraw and leave him to his sorrow. You want to come with? We got an open slot. I don't know if you'd fit in it, but we could give up a couple spaces. All right, then. Looks like we got another choice to make coming up here. Oh, yeah. A place of tranquility and rest. Definitely going to discuss tactics again. Very low they HP to for heal the here. By the warm flame. I like that. Pals hanging out. Alright. There's our bonus again. Up to 10% combat speed increase. Nice. Let's see. Let's try the harvest this time. A renewal. Welcome oh, back. Oh, hold on. You're right. You're right. You got a rummage. Where is that? Oh, no. I think that's just the thing to indicate the ladder's available there. Yeah. That's all that is. Friendly Shambler. Oh, it's more to the left. They oh, no. no they can turn no back. longer turn back. It's gone forever. Soil it. Now get him some bear hugs anyway. Friendly, thank you for the 67 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. These will be put to good use. And it's over, GG. BG, more like. Spooner! I wonder if in those situations I'm able to actually sneak up on the enemy at all. Alright, Lord. Let's see here. The bleed going. Do it. Bleeding. You're just gonna hit him with the stone throw, sure. Nice stun. I'm just gonna delay their move a little bit. An enemy with bleed that I can't target, unfortunately, so I guess I'll just go ahead and chop there. Which is gonna get the kill, nice! The first foe is slain. Sure enough. Let's see now, go ahead and try the stun again here, I guess. It seems to be just as effective as I anticipated. Ooh, do we have the follow-up? Deal 100% armor, which is, sadly, it looks like only at one right now. Uh, he's all about the defense, I guess, so let's just try intercepting Cape Spider A's attack. And we'll see what that does. We'll bring him up to guard that as well. Nice, okay, so if we keep him in the front, of course. This, that was what, that's what I was assuming earlier. We'll likely be able to uh, get into situations where uh, keeping a guy like this up front is going to be a lot more valuable to us. Welcome back. Tromschvin! Thank you for the 49 months. Welcome back. Give him some bear hugs, too. Please appreciate the support. Thank you for the resubscriptions today. Smack him. Get him. Okay, finished off. Nice web. Yeah, that's fun. I'm looking forward to how that expands, too. Very satisfying. The rotating Just party is very different. Yeah. Forgotten watchtower, held fast by a great forest tree. I feel like they're going to allow for a lot of strategic consideration with that because it's already kind of happening here with that uh, character that's a lot more focused on defense. Yeah, you know what, now that you mention it, 
<laughs> can we change our lineup here? We must be able to, right? Yeah, there we go. We can just do that, and then you can switch over here. Yeah, it definitely feels like having the guard up front is going to be best, and then having the Raiders act next. It's like a batting order. That's fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, we probably could have snuck up on those guys, too. Okay, so I got to be Humans keeping an eye out for... Uh... Well, I guess we surprised them, though, so it mostly has to do with the way they're facing. Foes with armor are harder to beat since it reduces the amount of damage they take from attacks. But some special effects, like bleed, will ignore armor. Well, that seems like a good idea. Ooh, let's gain some armor, though. You know, let's get some armor ourselves. How about That's a great call. I'm just going to throw him back to the back line, though. Let's see. So we want to make sure we're bleeding these guys as much as possible. That'll do it. Is there a way you can have someone like pass turn or something to stay at the front of the line? Um, not sure. I think it mostly just depends on what we draw. Which there is the redraw thing as well, which hopefully can provide you an option if you're missing one. But yeah, it looks like it looks like it's mostly just dependent on that. At least for now. You can do additional stacks of bleed here as well, which is pretty sick. Seems like a stun might be in the cards again. Hard to say no to that, usually. Plus, I just love them. <laughs> I love seeing them wobble around like that. That makes me very happy. Hardy adventure is going to clearly be a little bit more difficult to deal with. But I think we have something that can... Uh... Oh, right, yeah. So the intercept is one that allows you, I believe, to stay in the front rank. And the chance to stun on the bash as well. Let's do... Yeah, let's do the intercept here. I think this is keeping him at least... Oh, it's going to be dependent on the position and the time bar. So when he does that, depending on who he targets... Whoever he is lined up to attack, he then intercepts that, so he shifts position accordingly, I think is how it works. Okay, and then we're looking for... I don't have any stun this time. I guess we're trying to inflict more bleed, which he's already in a pretty bad way, so... Let's just make it even worse. Oh, big knockback on that, okay. We're starting to deal some damage. Starting to hurt us a little bit. Let's see if I can uh, finish this guy off. I think this plus the bleed ought to be enough. Maybe let that do the job. Get the stone throw on this guy again so we can get the better options from the back ranks. There goes the feeble adventurer. He's back to the front now. Uh, stone throw not going to help us anymore here, so let's just take a quick smack. Now he's got no armor. Still gonna be stunned there. Salvage probably not necessary. I think I intercept again here. So that means with he's third. So then yeah, okay. I think I interpreted that correctly. So that means he's just gonna move according to uh, who he is targeting. So no wakey wakey again here. But that is still a pretty significant amount of damage. Unless I want to try to just get another bleed going, which is also a good option. Okay, we'll stone throw again. <coughs> Ah, resisted the stun that time. Okay, I wonder if he gets additional stun resistance after being stunned. Wouldn't be too surprising. Uh, here's another stun opportunity, though. Yet again, resisted. Oh, crap. Ah, there's the intercept back. Okay. okay I'm going to get him with the knockback there, though, and then obviously he's kind of in bad shape. This dude's hurting, too, though. What is this? This little status effect. Tired. All damage taken increased by 15%. Right, yeah, because he used the move that sent him back in the time bar. Starting to figure that out. All right. Bear, what class would you want Bear God to be? Of the three that I've got, I feel like I'd probably just want to be whatever this is, a peon. Sort of a standard Gabo. Makes the most sense. Ooh, we got a new one here, though. Hold on. I'm going to change my mind based on whoever this is. You know what we're going to do for sure with this is going to need to draw a new goblin name. So make sure you type goblin in the chat if you want to be selected to be a new member of the party here. Shaman. Ooh. That sounds like fun. With a magic rock. Oh, yeah. Hex. Sticky hoodoo. Heal a target ally or foe for 25% of your power. Plus your spirit. So it's going to be... Seven ish, six or seven. 
cool. Who's this gonna be? That's gonna be Orion. That's a great name for the shaman. All right, cool. This captive is garbed in peculiar vestments. It appears quite grateful and joins the group. All right, we finally got our full party here. Let's see what we can do. I'm anticipating like a mini boss fight of sorts. Now that we've got the full team. Oh, good work. Good work on the zoom. Sneaky, sneaky. Quietly, the goblins approach the ruins, peering from behind a bush. They watch nervously as a pair of human adventurers awkwardly stumble out of the ruins. <laughs> Deeming it too dangerous to proceed, they search for a more discreet way to enter the ancient ruin. Yo, Rat Cousin Raiders, welcome. Good to have you. Thank you, Celery. I appreciate that a lot. Glad you're enjoying the new album. go if you're just joining us feel free to type a pick me in the chat as well i've got a couple of extra codes for this game to give out at the end of the stream under today. the tree through a dark and uncomfortably narrow tunnel they miserably crawl through the crannies until they reach the tunnel's end unbeknownst to the goblins oh boy they find themselves intruding into a human infested establishment hidden beneath the tree the crowd scatters in a frenzy at the sight of the unexpected trespassers. As the chaos ebbs, a surly innkeeper and his flunkies are all that remain. He turns to the goblins with a baleful glare, intent on exacting retribution. I know these guys. This is the Beautiful Beards Brigade. The only requirement to be accepted is to have an enormous chin in a fittingly striking beard. Foes may use status effects like haste to gain advantage. Counter this by inflicting stun or slow. However, be cautious as foes slowly build resistance to effects used on them. Okay. I had my suspicions. Cool. Okay, we're going to intercept this boy again. I feel like that's a really strong start to any combat is to intercept with my, with my uh, guard to begin with. He's now summoned cooks. Okay. Let's see here. He's now tired as well. He's going to be all the way back there for the moment. I like inflicting bleed to begin with. It's a fine choice. Let's do that. These guys only have 18 HP. It shouldn't be too tough to deal with. I can't reach the innkeeper with this move. I feel like while he's tired, I should probably try to take advantage of that. Get him, boss, he says. Move twice as fast along the time bar for three turns. I guess that's called a turn now that I've called that a turn. <laughs> Stick with what was logical, I suppose. Ah, oh, we haven't even seen Orion yet either. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I guess we'll smack him around a little bit. Now it's time for our shaman. What do you got going on? 50% chance to slow. Ooh, that would counter that effect pretty, pretty nicely. Ooh, inflict slow on the second and third foes. Yeah, I like that even more. Hell yeah. There we go. He's been doubled down on the time bar movement here. Only has three turns left of it, though. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, I don't want to remove all of his armor here. I'd certainly much rather add more. The chance to stun seems good enough. Although we got to keep in mind he's got additional resistance to that. Although I suppose they're not going to actually show me what that is. Uh, wakey wakey's not going to get the full effect this time. Oh no, he's slowed. Right, yeah, so this will do it. So we can probably kill the cook that way. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll do. Very nice. Alright, innkeeper's still bleeding here. We can go for another stun play. In fact, I like that a lot on cook today. Definitely makes a lot of sense to take care of the mobs. Nah, not more cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Get him. Oh, he is in bad shape. He's not feeling good. Get a stun going again. Okay, he's 
gonna be resisting those now, more than likely. <coughs> Stepson is in. Or Stepson, rather, is not feeling great. There's the armor up, though. I was hoping to find that one. Oh, the stun from the cocktail. Okay. Okay. Heal an ally over five turns for 25% of your power plus your spirit. If target's life is less than 30%, also remove bleed and poison. It's pretty good. Ooh, give an ally haste. Let's do that on London. So we can get his more powerful attacks up here more quickly. I think that's going to be pretty damn nice. That does make him tired, but I think it should be fine. Uh, armor up again. Oh, snap, dude. Stefson. Strong. Yeah, he's going to block that one, too. Very nice. Okay. That looks pretty good. Let's see here. Another slicing dagger. Do we just go with the chop with a chance to sunder? That's going to kill him. Good stuff. Our hasty boy. Being very effective. All right, let's see. I only want to start trying to deal some damage to the innkeeper. I don't know if killing the cooks is going to be all that helpful for us. He's probably not got a finite supply. He's going to do that forever. Uh, wakey, wakey. A precise assault. Goodbye. More cooks is my assumption for him coming up, but maybe I can delay that a little more here. I actually got stunned that time. Nice. Knock him back a little bit, and then let's see here. Uh, this would be pretty effective by now. Three times the heal on that. Yeah, let's do it. Up for 23, that'll do. And then wakey, wakey again. Now we're talking. Get some actual damage in there. All right, he's probably just going to keep summoning more cooks. I think we just have to accept that's the case. Hopefully we can find some more armor for Stefson soon as well. So let's just go all in on just trying to get as much damage on him as we can. If we ever get the chance. He's going to be brought to the front pretty often. I think that's mostly what they do. Slow on these guys, though. Yeah, that definitely seems like a good idea. I feel like the Shaman is really good. It's a big in, isn't it? Yeah, if he's able to summon this many goddamn cooks all the time. Let's intercept Cook C's move here with him coming up in a second. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, that's all they do. So I mostly just want to intercept the innkeeper then. In fact, that's all I ever want to intercept. I don't know if a smack's going to do too much for us here. I don't know if a shove's going to help either, though. Going to knock him back all the way there, which man, might, actually, might actually be worth it. Oh, he's immune to that. Okay, that's not good. Keep that in mind. I should probably go ahead and just bleed. With him having all this armor, that's probably going to be the most effective way to get through him. He can deal some damage, apparently. All right, we've got to be careful about that. Smack is going to do borderline nothing, so... Yeah, we've got to try to find something better there. Exterminate, not going to do it. We can do another bleed with this. This steals decent damage. Eh, it might sunder him as well. Which would be helpful. No luck that time. Yeah, I think I am just going to full focus, big boy. That looks like the way to go. I don't have a ton of armor here. It looks like I've got two at the moment. Enough rattles to play, but I kind of want to try. I think just armor up again, honestly, seems like a pretty good option for him in just about any circumstance. Let's smack again. I mean, little chunks of damage are going to add up. Stone throw is not actually dealing any, so let's just keep trying, I guess. Yeah, that's ideal. That's who we want to have take the hit. Let's see. Give an ally haste. We're slow him again? I do. This, this has been pretty good. Status effects are where it's at. Get the armor up yet again. Let's go for it. Yeah. Have them stay in the front as much as possible. Slicing dagger for another bleed here. Let's go for it. <coughs> Seems when you're targeting attack, you can target resistances on the bottom right. Ah, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Yeah, you can see down there. And you can hover over as you leave it up like this. See? All right. Yeah, nice. I should have taken a look at this before. He's got huge resistance to slow now as well. i got to keep that in mind. Okay, that's important. Understood. Oh, boy. I'm starting to take some hits here. Let's see. Wakey, wakey. Not going to be amazing here. I think the chance to sunder is still worth it, although oh, we can only target the cook with that. But if we exterminate instead... Ah, oh, it's so close, but not enough. 
This might still kill him. Let's find out. Yeah, not enough. Okay. Well, I'll take one cookout. Should help a little bit. Stefson's gonna get himself salvaged here. Going to nearly full. That's fantastic. I'm honestly not sure what resource the redraw comes from, nor am I sure whether or what impacts any given character's ability to do so. I'm assuming it's a stat that they have that some others don't. I was stunned that time. That does move, move steps into the back as well, unfortunately. Heal an ally for your power and spirit. Undead, undead take magic damage. Oh, that's cool. Mm, let's go. Well, he, he's not going to be slowed here, is he? Yeah, he's got a 90% chance to resist that. So let's do this heal on London. And that's the heal over time here. So gaining six life over five turns. Um. Ah, he's got the bleed. So we can add another bleed and refresh the duration of the existing bleeds. Nice. <coughs> Outstanding. Yokolas has not taken a hit yet, so that's fine with me. Spread it all around. Uh, I think I'm going to try the stone throw again here, see if we get lucky. Nice. Yeah, this is way more HP than we've had to deal with up to this point. This guy's tanky. He doesn't have any armor anymore, so I guess I'll just try this. Ideal. Okay, okay. Keep on picking those wounds, buddy. Fresh them bleeds, very nice. Oh, he's in bad shape now. I'm imagining this from the innkeeper's perspective. There must be some these must be some really annoying goblins. I like to believe that that was probably the, the mentality that they uh, held through a lot of designing this is boy wouldn't it be annoying to have to deal with these guys. <coughs> So meddlesome, and you'd think individually they wouldn't be too much of a threat. But all together, with the stratagem behind them, they'll be a nuisance. All right, wakey wakey time. Oh, baby. There he goes. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and berkey. That's right. Bash him. Oh. Boil him, bash him, stick him in a stew. Finish him. That's a big chest. That is a big, beautiful chest. And I'm gonna get it. Summoning their fortitude, they move on. Let's go. Two large red gems selling for 900 gold. A green gem, a tiny red gem, and a ham hammer. Ham hammer. Just add an extra M in there. Now, just call it a hammer. I don't know if I would have gotten that, but I would have appreciated it more. Someone would have gotten it. They would have pointed it out. What kind of weapon can these guys use? I wonder if they're actually able to equip any of this stuff. Requires raider or hunter. Okay. How do you feel about a hammer, Lord Hackus? They can carry no more. Mm hmm. Can you guys use this thing? No, it requires a raider or a bandit as well. All right. Well, let's try that. Seems good. Any other shiny stuff on the floor in here? Nah, no, we're good. Hooray! Three of four harvests. One of three treasures, four of five encounters. I wonder if this is for the entire area or if it's for the route that you specifically chose. Because I know I missed one thing. I didn't think I missed four things. All right. We got some goodies now. I'm guessing it's base time. 
The goblins descend through an old garbage chute as their eyes adjust to the darkness. An uncanny landscape of endless human refuse reveals itself. I'm not sure yet whether the levels are procedurally generated or not. Each goblin lair begins with the ancest or Ancestor's Hall, the sacred dwelling place for the souls of ancestral goblins. The strength of the lair will depend on the souls of its deceased. Sorry, let me move my face out of the way of those things. Realization that beneath all the filth lies what they seek. Stone in hand, they gingerly place it atop the edifice. Suddenly. As if disturbed from a great slumber, violent waves erupt, filling the cavern with relentless energy. Mounds of human waste are swept aside by the vindictive force revealing the great goblin lair, previously thought to have been lost to antiquity. God dang antiquity. Taking all our shit. All right. Good innovation, Bear. I haven't seen all their names wandering around. I love it. Alrighty. Stone, ore, wood, and bone. With the goblin stone in place, the lair can be rebuilt. Begin by building a war room. Uh, XCOM style base construction here. Also have some unclaimed items. Let's take all that. Oh, a larder is needed. I see. Alright then. These are the ruins of a once great war room where ancient goblins plotted their grand adventures and expeditions. Rebuild and unlock the endless adventures that await in the vast world beyond. This is where the adventuring party gathers, ready to be equipped and outfitted for the challenges ahead. When you're all set, select a map to embark on your adventure. Many expeditions await them. Okay. Let's see. How am I navigating around this? We can zoom out, click and drag around. And then we've got our empty spaces available to build with. We have our surface up here. Large sprawling area, perfect place to set up a campground to attract traveling visitors. Perhaps other goblins in the area might take notice of this new lair. Nice. Wandering goblins gather here to squat on your land and marvel at the lair. Many seek admittance. Recruit a few of them to create an adventure. Modern party. goblins and merchants congregate on these grounds. No oh, baby. More goblins! Make sure to type goblin in chat if you want a chance to be recruited here. A renewal. Welcome back. Get some bear hugs for him as well. Daddy Dolly Rose. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Four months. Welcome on back in. So we need Ancestors Hall Level 2 to upgrade our campgrounds here. We're going to recruit some squatters. Only the keen and eager are welcome. Rescuing goblin captives could unlock new genetic traits for breeding. The more captives you save, the closer you get to collecting them all. As you progress, you'll discover more powerful traits. Cool. Ah, yeah, you can see with your, their appearance and all this, right? The genetic traits as well. Life plus six, but power minus three. Flabby brute. Let's get him. How best to sort the distinguished we'll from the disappointing? This Prospects one. loiter about, eager for admittance. I have a lot really deterring me from getting any available goblin at the moment, right? All right, let's see what we can build here. The armory and the larder. Let's get the armory first. Sweet. And then maybe another space over here for a larder. Easy peasy. I'm rich. Welcome to your cache of weapons. Equip them via a goblin's character sheet or directly from here. 
I'm your goblin. Well, let's click on the both mundane and magical will find their way here. Yeah, we probably want to do that after we've actually selected our adventuring party. All right, that looks like that's about it. Yeah, I think it's just meant to be like an elevator or like a, yeah, this is like a spiral staircase up through that door there, leading presumably to here. Another spiral through the background, maybe? All right, let's find out what our new character names are going to be right now. Who's joining the squad? That is going to be Once is Drawing. Once is having their name drawn, more like. One for the team. Be our new rookie peon. We've got ourselves another rookie peon here. That's going to be Zekjo. One of the team. And finally, Necronoth. He'll be our brand new Gabo. We'll come on in. Let's bring three new faces. Or three peons. Can make the cut today. Once will be our leader here. I do feel like Stefson ought to be in the mix, actually. Let's let Stefson be the leader for now. And then let's get our shaman in the mix there. And let's do one of these guys, too. Yeah, probably need them. I don't know how many peons is a good amount. It feels like one peon is probably not ideal. Like the other classes are probably a little, a little more effective, but while I'm unaware of the of the tier lists, I suppose I should just try everything out. And it looks like they've already equipped what they had previously, which is what I was hoping they would do, so that's good. All right. And then finally, the larder. Larders serve as dedicated storage for treasure and materials. Right-click any item to access and view the available options. For the magnificent spoils that await. Cool. And I guess we don't sell this yet. I'm assuming there's going to be a way for us to do that at some point soon. All right. So now we've put together our adventuring party. How do we go on said adventure? Click this. Or do we click this? I know it told me how to do it. I just forgot. Ah, world. There we go. Select a region to see the available adventures. Your first adventure awaits the Merry Foothills. Let's do it. There are resources available here. Explore it thoroughly and find what can be gathered. Stefson, Zekcho, Once, Necronoth, Captain London, Orion. Your first proper adventuring party. Let's do it. The little map goblin is adorable. Careful now. These places are unknown. All right. I believe we are free of the shackles of the tu of the tutorial now. It's on us. And what looks like a uh, slightly better magic rock for our shaman, shaman right away. Temporarily enchant a weapon with a free slot and then some foodstuffs as well. Ready for the taking. Neato. Let's see here. You can hit the T button at any point to pull this menu up. You can look at the magic rock and we can navigate to our... Oh, this is a temporary weapon and will disappear after the adventure. Interesting. I would certainly want to use that now and then we have that uh, we have that thing we just got in our inventory now as well, the orb. Enchant a weapon. We'll go with Orion. And there we go. Cool. That's neat. So now Orion's magic rock has been enchanted with an additional plus five power, which is immediately going to make his life shock way better. That's cool. Oh, can I get this? No, okay. I'm trying to look out more for possible harvestable stuff, though. 
being a harvest. Yeah, let's try this out. See what this yields. I believe I am using the hammer. Yes. Someone should be. Oh, no, actually, I, know, I think I left that on the bench, didn't I? Yeah. Or no, didn't I change that over to one of the raiders? I think I changed it to the raider that I left on the bench. Nah, well, we'll get it next time. Smithy! The they will soon need them. Ooh, this is fun. Fine rock on a stick. It's a free upgrade. Well, let's, let's do it. Why the heck not? Terrific. Evident craftsmanship. All right, then we'll do the same to the stool. Ah, okay, so we're going to get one for free. He's just trying to bait us into his business, which he has done so successfully. I'm going to find some money. The smith eyes their battered blade. Can't seem to sell anything to this guy, sadly. Okay, so that's a smithy. That's when we have the, the anvil. That makes sense. Can I sneak? Surprise attack? Got him from behind? Let's go. Gotcha. These callous ruffians butcher the innocent for experience uh, and ready. loot. We're going to intercept to begin with. <clears throat> Mostly why we got that guy up front. Let's see how it goes if I just start smacking people. Let's see if these peon smacks. Which sounds dirty. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it's going to work out very well, especially if we only have the power to just barely get over their armor. I think the bleed's where it's at. Oh, the chance to sunder. Now, hold on a second. What does sunder do? His armor is temporarily removed until attacked, right? That's pretty good. That's probably enough right there, actually. Now, let's see. We we'll need to heal here. I like giving the ally haste. Let's let Stefson be hasty here as well, so he can just be our super tank for this fight. Oh, yeah. Speedy boy. Ooh, they're dealing some damage now, though. Oh, my God. That's not good. We hit for 10. Yo, the 10 and the bleed. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Okay, he's got his armor back now, too. But I think one more smack will take him out. Oh, no, right. Yeah, that's the weaker one. That's the weaker peon. He can't quite do it. I got to keep in mind, who's going to show me the result of any action if I just look? closer attention. Let's get the armor up here. Now let's go ahead and do the intercept again. Nah, I think we got plenty of time. He's hasted here as well. I bet he's going to get a bonus action. Oh yeah, he just straight up takes the next turn and he's going to armor up again. Oh, haste on Stefson is quite good, huh? Okay, I got to keep that in mind. Every adventurer A having a rough go of it now. Let's go ahead and armor up again on Stefson. Why not? He's a speedy boy now. It's going to be nearly the damage we need. I'm pretty tempted to try the stone throw stun here as well. Yeah, it'll do. Excellent. Now you can get the kill, right? Still not quite, so I guess you're a utility boy for now I can, until we can find a better use for you. Yeah, once is struggling here. All right, there's that, though. No sweat. Six armor for steps and feels pretty good. Steps and I mean. <clears throat> Keep doing that. I think we got this handled. Let's see if I can sneak in a heal for Zekcho as well. Oh, I bleed, jeez. Desperate shank. Yeah, we fully blocked. Outstanding. And do I stall? <clears throat> Trying to let the regen play out? That seems right to me, although I don't really have much of a choice, do I? Yeah, never mind. So be it. A galvanizing victory. Galvanizing indeed, my friend. Galvanizing indeed. Off we go. Oh, shop. I think that's what we needed. I'm gonna sell all this stuff we got. An intriguing selection. Oh, you can only do stuff that's in your immediate inventory, huh? Ah, crap. Well... Might as well sell the adventure stuffs. There you go, buddy. This heals life, so maybe I can hang on to that for now. Fiber, bones. 
Orb of Protection would be pretty outstanding, wouldn't it? Let's get all these orbs. Those are pretty cheap. Oh, I see. We haven't actually completed a trade yet. Just what's needed. There you go. You got this bartering system going on. Gotcha. I got a couple orbs out of that at least, and then I'm going to be able to increase Stefson's effectiveness quite a bit. Looks like that's the only available slot we had, though. Unfortunately. No, oh, hold on. Right, yeah, we do this. Goodness, yeah, Zek chose in pretty rough shape now, too. No, you can take off, Forky. I'm going to be drawn to pick me for whoever enters throughout the course of the day, and you'll get a DM at the end of the stream if you win. Um, yeah, it looks like that's all we got. No further slots open yet. Clearly these peons are not ideal. I was mostly just curious to see if maybe we got extra opportunities to upgrade them if we took them along. Oh, this is concerning. Shrines are ancient statues crafted by goblins of ages past. These monolithic figures are strewn throughout the realm, each one imbued with the power to grant a chosen blessing. The weather divine magic. Enemies that are surprised will start the battle at 75 or 70 percent life, where physical damage of parties increased by 25 percent. That seems really good. Those are both, both very good. Boon, they depart. But the second one applies all the time, as opposed to the first one only being situational. I knew those guys were important. All right, cool. This feels like it's probably going to be a mini-boss. I was waiting for that. Let's see if I can get him to turn around and make it, maybe I can sneak up on him. Get him. Get him. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, that wasn't an ambush, though, was it? Yeah, we just started a normal fight. All right, whatever. All right, got to keep Zekcho alive here. That's the main issue. Hmm. I'm only realizing now you can do this. Over over the enemies to see what they're where they, or who they're going to target. So the twenty percent chance to stun here. Intercepting does not change the targeting Zekcho, or no one's really targeting Zekcho to begin with. I guess I can just do that. I can try for the stun again here. Nice. Is up. Let's go for the shove. Hey, okay. That'll do. Oh boy, but yeah, these peons are gonna be in trouble, man. Poison now as well. Yikes. Let's try to get that stone throw stun again there. Resisted that time. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling like this squad wasn't quite up to snuff. I'll exterminate available. His first action still. Progression. That was a good hit, though. Okay, that'll help a lot. Let's see. Let's get the slow on these two. Coat them in negative status effects. He's going to take the bloody bike. It's the full block on there. He's bleeding, though. Uh, let's see here. Got six armor. Maybe a nice chunk on the spider, although I feel like the bash might be a decent option here, too. But let's try this out, see how it goes. Stun the spider again. Okay, that ought to help out. Another stone throw? Stone resistance isn't extremely high. Let's go for it. Nicely done. Darkest dungeon meta, baby. Never stop stunning. ABS, always be stunning. Ah, uh, smack attack. Nice spider almost down. Can't exterminate on anything. Although, we, well, we can do it there. It's just it's not going to get the kill. But it is a good amount of damage. And it might be worth it. Oh, yeah. That is a... Uh, that's a big hit. As is that, unfortunately. That hurts a lot. Slow again? I don't think we need to here. I think we want to go ahead and just try to... Get a big chunk of damage one more time. This step is going to take the bloody bite again and fully block that bad boy. Oh, Zekcho. Oh, no. Oh, no, Zekcho. You got to help him out. Ooh, nice crit. Nice crit there. Okay, that'll be a kill on Wolf A at least. 
Looks like we should be able to take these guys out prior to them getting any extra attacks in. We do have food stuff as well, yeah. Hopefully we can manage to uh, utilize that. We also have our big heal here that we can take advantage of. There's Zekcho in much better shape now. Stepson, no! No! Not Stepson! Ah! Uh, goblin died! Stepson, no! For each death, he'll be awarded valuable souls at the end of the adventure. Souls can be used to upgrade the lair. Oh, he turned into resources. Sick. All good. Never mind. Totally intentional. Oh, now they're all sad. Oh, they're, they have fury. Damage is increased by 50% until next turn. Oh, that's fun. I like that mechanic a lot. You gotta imagine that. A lot will bother them no more. Such a happy song after watching their comrade be slaughtered by wild beasts. A decent harvest. Alrighty, let's see. Pull out that inventory. Let's start using some healing stuffs. Select goblin to heal. There we go. Give that to you and that to you. That's better. A renewal. Welcome back. Kitten 74. Thank you for the 81 months. Welcome on back into the bear pile. Appreciate it. Give him some hugs, please. Thank you for the long term support. Yeah, apparently can harvest more than once. That's cool. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. That might have been one of the harvests that I missed in the last one, actually. Oh, and you can just hit spacebar to take all on those. That's nice. Quality of life stuff. Okay. That certainly was a, a tougher fight. I guess that'll do it. Raise the banner. Tally ho! These footballs now seem a little more familiar. Ra. I think this is the total amount available in the region. Because I feel like we didn't miss anything that time. All right, rip stuffs and to get one soul out of it though. Good stuff. A new day door. And sure do. Construct a stairwell to reach the lower depths, followed by an empty chamber to further expand your lair. Will do. Let's see. Leave this space out for a new room. Okay. Same there. Easy. All right. Get most of the money back. Rearrange your rooms. Long click or right click on any room and select move to place it somewhere else. Some rooms can be merged. Build a barracks to welcome and recruit goblins from the campgrounds. This lets you maintain a list of goblins ready for adventure. Cool. All right, so they're going to build that for a day. To convert peons into guards, shamans, or raiders, you first need to build the respective guilds for each class. This will also grant access to unlocking additional combat abilities. Okay. That makes sense. I can't not keep it on the grid. It's going to bother me if it's not. All right, let's see here. Read more goblins. Cool. I think the goblins can only equip certain weapons. That's my interpretation so far. All right, so... I suppose if we're looking to build more rooms, then we're going to have to get that going, which is not going to be available yet. So let's go talk to the merchant here, along with getting three new recruits. You look so sweet. What a pleasant fella. Magical twig. 30% chance to freeze. That seems sick. Let's sell all this shit. All the gems here. This is adventure stuff we can sell for gold. Same with that. So we got a 1,300 gold surplus going on here. That is about it, though. Let's see. I think we need more weapons for, um, for raiders. Maybe another chiseled stick. Oh, right, yeah, the junk as well, thank you. 
I wonder if you can just sell all of that. Oh, double click, I think, does that. And there's junk there as well. There we go. All right, there's a little bit more money. Let's, uh... I want to get this magic twig. It just sounds like fun. That'll do. A fair trade. Indeed. All right. Let's see. How do I recruit this? All right, I need the ancestors hall at level two. So let's get two more folks here. We have a raider. How best to sort the distinguished already. Oh, disappointing. I'm gonna recruit them. I have high hopes for this one. And sock booker. A promising addition. Sounds good. And we have the merchant at the camp. Should we need it in the future? Ah, we can upgrade this already. What does it require? Upgrade the Ancestors Hall to unlock new rooms and depths. Needs five souls and 12 population. How the heck do we get 12 population if we have a limit of 10 goblins? Huh. We'll be shown something more about that soon. This is 1.0, I believe. Show. Oh, yeah, it says it down, right down there. V1.0. Is it worth killing off peons to get more souls? Maybe. Kind of seems like that might be the case. Okay. These rooms are still being built. Doesn't one of the rooms increase your population limit? Is that what the Warrens does? It did say something about breeding new goblins. I wonder if that's a good way to bump it up. Yeah, that might be the case. All right. Let's swap up our adventuring party here. Let's wait on the peons until... until we're able to turn them into somebody a little more useful. They can change combat class anytime in the lair. However, veteran goblins, those who have already gone on an adventure, can no longer change their class. A renewal. Welcome back. I hope that doesn't apply to peons. That seems like it could be problematic. Also, just realized, speaking of problematic, I can't find the perfect place for my face, man. Sheesh. Oh. I didn't realize I could do this already. This is going to allow us to change... Oh, but we need those guild rooms, right? Okay, I see. Hologram Golem. Thank you for the 20 months on the bow. Welcome back in. Some bear hooks for him, please. Peons and rookies can change. Okay, cool. Noted. But yeah, we will go ahead and swap them out for the people that we've already got available as raiders and such now. Although I guess we are going to have to have one peon in the mix, aren't we? Let's bring out the new one. Let's find out who they're going to be. Go ahead and type goblin in chat again if you haven't been chosen already. Or if you haven't uh, done so already. Chance to be chosen as a brand new goblin from for the squad. Uh, we got Clogweaver to replace the name of. And that's going to be... Hi-Fi Panda. Welcome on in. And M Bales is going to join us as well. Rookie guard. And our peon awaiting classification. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's get the guard up front again. If we can. Let's also equip them. We gotta head over here to the armory. Get the wooden stool to high fi panda. Let's give the magical twig to Orion. We'll give the hammer to Lord Hackus. Right? Can he not? Oh, he's already got it. Okay, right. And then the rock on a stick is already equipped to somebody. But we're going to give that to... Or no, I think London has that already, doesn't he? Okay. That should do it then. Cool. Works for me. So we just gotta wait a day for the barracks to be completed. All right, let's do it. Ah, build the guilds as well, right? 
we have to wait for the other chambers, I believe, though. Okay. Works for me. Back to the old woods. We got ourselves a quest in the Whistling Heath. A familiar area to goblins. However, since it has not been explored in a while, it's best to send out a scouting party. No time for that. We send a lot of them. Off you go. Be strange. Sinuous roads remain uncharted. Oh, hold up. Apparently Luke can just show up in the very beginning, huh? Okay. A respectable hall. I'm gonna make a mental note of that, dude. Keep a sharper eye out. on a stick. Some meat, too. And an orb of harvest. Gain 20 life per kill. Damn, dude. They stuff their packs. That seems good. This game is very good so far. I've been very impressed. That's an upgrade. Yep. Equip that right away. And let's go ahead and throw this onto somebody. We'll give it to Lord Hackus and his hammer. Sounds good. Um, I think we'll go down. Looks like a new goblin to recruit, possibly. Although the campfire has the permanent buffs. But I'm wondering if, now that we're at capacity, I'll be able to add any more goblins, or if we have to find a way to do that otherwise. Because, yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to add these guys in the mix now. But we could replace... Only one is willing to join the party. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. This guy looks pretty good. Very lean. Another guard, too. Yeah, I feel like I could probably use that. Well, let's draw another name. Sorry, Bales. I'll leave you on the bench today. This is going to be Dan Dagan. Brand new member of the team. Welcome on in. Oop. Getting used to it. Here we go. All right. And you know what? Let's bring you nearer to the front as well. Good stuff. All right. We got combat right away here. Can't sneak up on That's all right. Okay. So we know to prioritize the standouts, the enemy squads. Okay, the feeble adventurer this time around, which isn't that much more threatening than a, than a weary adventurer, but is slightly above them in the in the threat chart, I guess. Yeah, you're good to go, Seth. No worries. I will select a winner regardless of whether they're still here or not. Get a DM at the end of the stream. I am liking the bleed a lot. And I think I should probably go for it a little bit more frequently. Ooh. Ooh. That hurt. Okay. Heal yourself? What's that going to be for? I think like eight? Seven. Okay. Good enough. Armor it up. I want to do more haste, too. That definitely felt like a uh, an effective approach. Stunned once more. Get the armor up again. Go for it. Ooh, dude, our shieldy boys are feeling good now. I'm just bouncing back and forth up there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Damn. Armor up, baby. Okay. And then you are going to attack him, so that's not something we need to worry about. In fact, let's just go ahead and... Nah, let's intercept that. Yeah, that's good. Oh, he's probably going to die, but I might as well play it safe. Oh, yeah, fully blocked that. He's still moving up to the front th three ranks, too. Double bleed there. He's actually more than likely dead, so let's maybe go ahead and just add some damage to the second rank this time. Good show. Good show, old chap. Hit him again. That'll do. Still got our armor. Oh, Dan's going to move up for that. Okay, that's fine. That works. 
Uh, no need to heal here. I think we just go ahead and uh, rattle this. Yeah, that's gonna be a. Oh, that's gonna be a kill with the crit. Beautiful. Love to see it. All right, Zach Joe, get the hell out of there, fella. Actually, just kill him. Get the kill, buddy. Add one to your list. Unexpected outcome. Okay, I'm gonna have you salvage yourself. Fantastic. So got first action here with Orion. You're gonna go ahead and get yourself healed as well, because you've been in better shape. With our block available up front, I have a feeling I might want to try to stall this out a little bit and as we're accustomed to try to get some heals in at the end of this fight. Let's see if we can make that happen here. Uh, let's just do it. Stick around for a minute, pal. Fun time to, to be had by all. Watching you bleed to death. Yeah, here, why not? Oh, that was, he's already at full health. I didn't even realize that. Stun him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Time bar control, man. Gonna love it. I think I am actually just still stalling for regens here. I don't need to salvage anymore and keep on armoring up. Oh, it's so cheesy. It's so cheesy, but I love it. I love it so. Good work, everybody. Vile cretins. Top them off. Moving on. Grab the goods. Let's do it. Let's hit the campfire this time, yeah. Seems wise. Whoa! Hello. Oh, right. Yeah, that's to represent you can't go back that way. A cozy fire welcomes the wayworn. So this appears to be the option every single time at the camp. I'm wondering if we're going to unlock other choices here. It certainly doesn't feel they like we need to me. heal still. Weary of the road. Well, we do get the adorable sight of them camping together. Happy friends. Off we go. Yeah, it's an upgrade for the, just this area, yeah, but I'm just wondering if there's going to be other options unlocked in the future as far as choices to be made there. Yeah, there's always got to be a goblin just like fully spread eagle, right? Yeah, it's great. Just exhausted. All right, so where are you guys going? Lord Hackus is going to get intercepted. It works for me. That will do. Armor up. Yes, please. Nope. Sorry, buddy. Not today. Let's see here. Go ahead and chop them up. Oh, damn. 12 damage, huh? Sheesh, Lord. Okay. Kill there. Kill their bitch ass. How about that? That'll work. Spirit Rush for the haste on our guard boy. I did like that quite a bit. Uh, stone throw stun. Yes, please. Oh, we are in total control here. This is outstanding. Probably gonna get a double armor up here, actually. Yeah, oh man. Oh, and then the intercept. Because where are you going? You're gonna go for. Oh, you're going for hi fi. You're both going for hi fi. Yeah, that's totally fine. That is not an issue. Um. Yeah, just bash. That works. And damn, just. We've taken actions all day. Blocked, blocked, not a shock. Armor up. Looking good. Bash him. Mm -hmm. Playing the control game and it's working beautifully. Hey, Lyric, welcome. Oh, it's hammer time. Hell yeah. Oh, the sunder. Block free philosophy. See ya, pal. Crippling strike. Indeed. You ready to throw some more stones, boyo? It's working. I don't think we've even been touched this fight, dude. My goodness. Absolutely destroying them. Can we sneak a heal in here, maybe? That'd feel good. No? That'd be fine. Not a single blast yet, anyway, I guess. Why is this not... What the hell? Why? What? Why is this the only... Is this a one-time use? Is that what this means? Why is this the only thing that 
drag, drag the cart over to you. Weapons sheathed, they trundle on. Oh, AoE, that makes sense. That's weird, though. <laughs> they just slip and fall, but then reassume their position. That's cute. I think I, I, think I might have done that earlier. I just didn't notice. I left the loot behind again. Oh my god, bear. That's the whole point. You're literally a loot goblin. <gasps> Staggering hit. Oh, yikes. Okay. Wakey, wakey. No, let's do, uh, let's keep chopping. Well, that's not that great here, actually. Let's get the bleed on the, on the guy with the shields. Oh, jeez. We're going after our weakest members. I'm letting it happen. Hold on a second. Where are you guys going here? And they're not targeting Orion, but they are targeting Dan, which I suppose is good for us anyway. Let's bash them. Stone throw. He's staying safe, at least. Oh, I think we got the finisher here. Close to it. Very close to it. I think even, yeah, Orion might get the job done. That's fun. Okay. Yeah, it is an AoE thing. But it changed. It changed. Oh, okay. This it, it it is adjusted by the position. It's random. Oh, did it say that? And I just didn't notice on the weapon itself. I should pay better attention to that clearly. Okay. Do we need to intercept anybody? No, they're all going hi-fi. Okay. All good. Still up here. Okay. And then Dan's taking the hit. No worries. That's why we got the shield boys. Okay. And then... Gonna need to get a bleed going here as well. Let's do it. Salvage not gonna help here either. Rattle would be decent. Get another stun. Very nice. Smack. Only going to be minimal damage. Let's see if I can get a stun back there as well. Excellent. All right, Dan. What you got, buddy? Intercept. Intercept on. Yeah, that's good. Keep Orion safe for now. Oh, I think I got a wakey-wakey. Although exterminate, ooh. Ah, oh, man, that's not gonna work. Okay, this should be pretty good, though. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah, they're hurting. All right, let's see. Slow on the back, too. We can get a heal over time for Orion. Random foe, it does say that. Okay. Pretty good in this situation. I'll do it. with you. That'll do it, dude. Oh, Dan. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. He's fine. He's going to be okay. He's going to salvage, in fact. Oh, no. He doesn't have any armor. Never mind. Get a little armor and then salvage. Hopefully, maybe get a sneaky heal in here, but probably not. Nicely done. Bye-bye. Well, we got all the actions prior to him going, so maybe I'll find an opportunity, but not looking very likely. There we go. I'll do it. Bonk. Conflict, though unpleasant, is entirely necessary. For good gameplay, anyway. Gain 20 life per kill with the magic rock. You get a damage versus beast's enchantment with the orb. Might as well go ahead and pop bobos. that on there. Whenever he's got the slot open. Uh, damage versus beast's on. Let's go with hi fi. Yeah, that works. That'll do. Let's go ahead and heal these guys as well. That feels better. Okay, fantastic. Off we go. Give me the goods. Thank you very much. Cool. Coming out next week, Fatal. That is region complete, isn't it? Nice. Are charted. The 
Hold us safe. Got the survivor's achievement. Clear an adventure without casualties. Cool. We only missed one harvest there. Nice. Let's get down, get some money. Excellent. We'll see what our barracks is going to give us here. Let's see what the new day brings. Let's do. M. Bales has returned, but the lair is full. We'll find them waiting at the campgrounds. Retrieve M. Bales before they wander away. Hopefully we'll be able to house them here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, the barracks added on to our capacity for goblins. Instead of recruiting at campgrounds, create a warrens or goblins to or for goblins to breed. Explore potent gene combinations to develop stronger warriors. Cool. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Okay. What does this do? Roster of goblins that are ready to embark on adventures. Cool. That's neat. Okay. So we need to go. If you don't have a bed for bales, they'll bail. Very good. Yeah, now we gotta we gotta bring them back. Prospects loiter about, eager for admittance. There you go, buddy. We're gonna bring these three in as well. Let's go ahead and rename them while we're at it. Last call again for the goblin. If you'd like to be selected, go ahead and just type goblin in chat and we'll get you into the giveaway drawing. Uh, let's sell some stuff to the merchant while we're waiting on that. Let's see, large adventure stuffs. Yes, please. Get this in there, get this in there. I wish there was just a money to sell all the stuff that's clearly meant to just be sold. That'd be nice. Nice little quality of life thing. An honest bargain. There we go. And then let's take a look at the other building we finished construction on here. Will prove useful. Build the Warrens. Ah, it wants me to build the quarters now. Retiring goblins will reward you with valuable souls needed to upgrade the lair. Interesting. So I'm going to do this over here, I guess. Excavate this space. We can build some more rooms. And it's going to get us the guilds along with the warrens that we need. But let's start with the guilds, I guess. We'll go with the raiders to begin with. No, let's go with the shamans first. I'm not sure we're going to build all three soon. In fact, yeah, we're probably going to do that now. Right now seems good. Unless we don't have the resources. No, crap. Okay, I'll have to wait, I guess. Let's see here. Bringing in some new recruits from the campground. Only the Bust backer. Well AKA Ebony Phoenix. Welcome to the squad. A promising addition. Crow Jogger going to join A as well. And then Hyde Sander. Who are they going to be? Let's find out. Three new members of the team, one of which is already identified. I like having a bigger character limit. That's nice. Second and third. Now oh, get out of here, Moobot Alert. We're drawing names, dang it. Rock and Roll Ned and Jake Toady. with the team. There we go. Just peons for now. Hopefully be able to find some new roles for them soon. Right on. We got our shaman guild under construction, so we're looking for new... Or we're looking for resources, which I suppose it's worth taking a look at the merchant, actually, to see whether or not I want to just buy what we need right now. Because he's got... Oh, this is my inventory. Never mind. Yeah, he doesn't sell that stuff. Okay. Why would he sell the adventure stuffs, I wonder? That's kind of weird. Huh. Okay. Anyway. So now that we've done this, we're looking to get five souls, and that will give us the next level of the guild. So we got to get people killed, or we got to build... The, uh, what was it? It was the, there's another new, um, room. I can't remember the name of. Was it the quarters? That's the one. Yeah, we need the quarters so we can house retired goblins. Wasn't that guild building insta-built? It was, you're right. Oh, cool. Okay. You can also customize the abilities for the shaman. Equip four abilities. All goblins of the same class will share this ability set. You can unlock more abilities by earning souls. Cool. 
Oh, neat. Okay, so we can use Soul Gale instead of one of these moves. Which is deal 40% to the front three foes with a 30% chance to knock back. That's cool. Let's do that over this one. I like that. We need three souls to unlock further abilities. And then... To make them shamans, I believe we go to the barracks. We select any of our peons. We change combat class to shaman for 50 gold. New calling. I'm going to go ahead and do that to... Let's turn once into a shaman as well. Sounds good. This better suits their temperament. Cool. And then we've got some gear. In fact, hold on a second. Let's go for the war room real fast. We'll swap out Zekcho for once. And then we'll swap out... Actually, that seems like a balanced group. Let's just mix up the positions a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And then let's make sure they're all geared up. From the armory, we've got ourselves a magic rock that we can equip to Orion. And then a magical twig, which we will put on to once. There we go. Everybody else is already looking pretty good. Here's another stool. I don't think we have that available here. I think he was selling one, right? Yeah. Pick that up. Oh, I don't have enough money, damn. Uh, I don't think I want to sell anything yet, so never mind. Let's not pick that up. Any goblin speech to get the troops riled up? Yeah, I, I, I got one in the chamber. Hang on. So long as we're, we're geared up and ready to go here. It looks like it. I think we're ready. Get those other guilds built as soon as possible. So we're looking to get these resources. We need the fiber. We need the... What is that? We need stone. And we need... Ore. Fiber, stone, ore, and wood in order to build our remaining rooms for our quests here. Basically any building resource is what we need to find. All right, Gabos. This is your entire lot in life. From the moment you were born, you knew you'd be sent out on a suicide mission for a simple 10 stone. Don't let that discourage you. It is a noble endeavor all the same. Bear hero in chat, if you're a goblin ready to sacrifice yourself in the name of glorious loot. Oh, hold on. Two unarmed gabos. A guard with no guard. I mean, it doesn't seem ideal, but we don't really have the solution for it. Hopefully you'll manage all the same. Send it. Go, go, Gabo. Wisdom demands caution in unfamiliar lands. Okay, be ready for loot in any moment. I've already missed plenty. Don't intend on missing more. Ooh, new friends right away. You can only choose one. We've already got a couple new shamans. Let's take a new guard here, one that's actually got a weapon. This small buckler. We got another new name to bring into the mix. Oh, our two guards have stools. Did they just find those? All right, well, I guess you're just going home then, buddy. We'll see you later, Sora Rouser. We'll figure your stuff out in a minute. Have fun. Ooh, should we jump across? This looks like a, oh, a guru. Well, I gotta check that out. I, th I think that'll be like new abilities. What's going on there? Hello. Hone their skills, for they will be tested. Oh, upgrade one ability. Next level deals twenty percent. Damage of some kind, it looks like. Slicing dagger. There's a chance to throw another dagger. Ooh. Well, armor up goes to three armor. Those all seem pretty good. 
I'll take the armor. Mm, an improvement. Ooh, you get to upgrade three abilities. Nice. Intercept the foe's next two attacks. Ooh. <laughs> Heal a target for 50% of your power. Oh, and stun the target. Oh, I did not realize that was happening. Okay. Give an ally haste and inspired. Next ability costs one turn less. Ooh. Practice makes Ooh. the warrior. Okay. Ooh. It doesn't do anything on the third level. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm going to get really lucky there. Uh, 70%. Adds another stack. Uh, I think the intercept ability is really good. And improve. Nice. That's fun. I like that system. All right. Zombo. And to be a Zombo, right? Okay. Zombies. These strong, lumbering oaks were once classic. Africa. Dude, those flies are loud as hell. Why are those flies so loud? <laughs> really driving the point home of these being some stinky zombos. Excellent strike. Okay, let's see if we want to use our next level intercept here. I think we do. Even more filthy humans. Even filthier humans, clearly, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Chop this guy, sure. Yes, yes, the shaman heal. This an excellent move against the undead. I'll try that out here. Although, I'm wondering. I think sticky hoodoo might be might be the better play. I'm slow on these boys. Probably gonna help us out. Ah, they just boosted their damage, didn't they? Power is increased by one. Alright then. Let's go ahead and start a bleed here. What do you got? Chance for freeze and the damage on a random foe. Or we can just go ahead and heal him again. Ooh, we got the stun there, too. Nice. Grown it again. Power up. I mean, so long as they never actually attack. The power upgrade shouldn't be all that concerning. Harsh smash. Okay, damage through the block there. Should get the kill on this guy soon. than I would have liked. Just high-five with a good time. Mean, oh, no, actually, yeah, that's bad intercept shit. That's not what we needed. Let's maybe have you do the intercept. Since they're all going for Dan now. Yeah, let's do... Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, it's still good, I guess. Okay. The A is so close. Can't exterminate that. Oh, that'd be really nice. Still tempting to do it on the front line, but that's probably better for now. Just keep on groaning. Okay, I've got to find a way to... Ooh, 40% of the front three foes. This is nearly enough. Chance to knock back, which I don't think actually mattered there too much. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, I can't reach him with that. Okay. I just gotta get the dang kill. <laughs> Pardon me, Jesus. Just gotta get the kill, get the numbers advantage going again. And I wonder if Blast is more powerful or if the Life Shock. Yeah, it looks like the Life Shock's the way to go. Well, that's fun, man. Yeah, getting the stun in particular with that is extremely good. I gotta use that more against these Zombos. Okay. Swing in. They deal a lot of damage. Yeah, those groans add up pretty quickly. I'm probably going to have to get a quick healing on Dan here. Unless I want to just harvest for souls, maybe? That seems kind of greedy, though. Seems like something I had to hold off on until I've got, like, the dedicated zone for that in the base. All right, no heals this time. Let's go for haste and inspired on London for funsies. He's going to be a super speedy boy. Wakey, wakey. Oh, he's, he's nearly gone. Once we'll get the finish with the life shock. See ya. Don't undead also drop souls. Of a very Do they? Of survival. That would be nice. They don't appear to have dropped anything. 
You drop the desire for souls. Go to a shrine or more goblins? Let's go to a shrine, see how that is. Also get some heals here if we can. I have no items. Okay, never mind. They fall to venerate their ancestors. Immediately remove mortal wound of one random goblin. Not necessary. I guess we'll go for unprepared foes then. Works for the me. The goblins have been blessed. Now we have ourselves either a market or a blacksmith. I think I will go for the ladder. Take the ladder. Take the ladder to the ladder. The grizzled smith greets them kindly. Upgrade for the magical twig. I'll take it. Eight power gonna help him out quite a bit. Still don't have any gold, sadly, so that is all I we will get out of this, but that is pretty nice. Sneak attack? I'm still not sure how to do that. I feel like I'm, I missed part of the tutorial on how to sneak. I think there's a different button for it. All right, buddy. This is that upgraded armor. Holy! Potent medicines. Uh oh. Well, you're gonna need it too, aren't you? Is it just timing, really? Huh. See if I can pay better attention to what's going on with that. Ah, spirit rush, hell yeah. London is gonna be a monster now. Oh, no, that's not gonna help. Uh remove a poison stack at the end of turn. Okay, that's not so bad actually. That'd be worse. So it should be gone now, right? Yeah, that's not a big deal at all. Sweet. Armor up again. And tanky. See if I can get a heal there. There you go, buddy. No worries. Exterminate, not gonna be fantastic right now. Let's just go ahead and get a bleed going on the bolt. Okay, stun on Dan there, of course. Uh, let's go with a bash. I think a rattle could be good, actually. Get a stun again. Excellent. Stay in control here, baby. And then let's go for the salvage. Yeah, it's not quite the time, actually, for Dan yet, I don't think. Well, let's just bash him a little bit. Ooh, they do some serious damage, though. Sheesh. Web on Orion in the back, really. Interesting. Okay, still no exterminate here. We do have the wakey wakey fair combo hit, though, which might be enough. Ah, oh, the bear optimal again, dude. Sheesh. He's bleeding, though, so it looks like that should be enough on him. Right after he gets the bloody bite off, of course. There he goes. Foe is slain. Poor little wolfie. Okay, exterminate. Still not the way to go. Here we go ahead and chop again. Ooh, sundered. Not that, that makes a big difference there, I guess. Giant spider in the back, man. I really want to try to take him out. It looks like that plus the bleed should be sufficient. Dan is back, and he's going to get himself a salvage here, I think. Uh, he's got... Zero armor right now? No, he's got five, right? Yeah. So, that's probably worth it. There we go. Oh, poor London, dude. I'm taking a beating here. Jeez, relax. This poor guy. I don't know if I've really got many uh, solutions to that right now. Apart from just murdering all of them. That would be pretty good. Okay, we're going to intercept the remainder of these hits. Ideally, anyway. Get ourselves good old-fashioned rattling. Stun bonk. Okay, just a little poison here. We get a life shock on London. Help you out a little bit, buddy. We got a big swing here, fella. Exterminate. Send it. Send it for yet another bear optimal, baby. Booyah. Give him a blast. Beautiful. An unpleasant encounter. But necessary. All right, there's some good resources for base building. Handy. Good stuff. Get the loot. Don't forget. Don't forget your loot bag. Okay, good 
good stuff. Good stuff. Mission accomplished. Tally ho once more. As the goblins prepare their supper beneath the gray pall of dusk, a familiar face joins their merry company. The massive orc sits with them by the fire. He's back. His craggy smile by the firelight reveals hey, a tired soul whose years of youth have ebbed. Over a meal, they share stories of menfolk. Cruel creatures who creep through the woods like the rot of a festering wound. The orc Gross. whispers an old prophecy from the time of the Great Divide when the world was set asunder. When the last song is sung among the dead and trees awake where blood is shed from ways afoul a hero is woken we forge shall be the bonds once broken. The orc explains that it tells the tale of a hero promised in legend, one to reunite the broken tribes of monster folk. Before parting, the goblins pledge their friendship. The old orc smiles and invites them to forage with him on the morrow. Chapter 2 The Hinterlands the once unknown trails no longer seem foreign. Hoorah! All right, we're building resources. Very good. Decent chunk of change. A new day dawns. Wonderful. The orc offers to forage together. Meet him at Furrow's Rest. Oh, that'll be fun. Okay, this feels like an excellent point to uh, end on for Goblin Stone, and also a point to kiss my wife about. Hey, now. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for watching, everybody. This game is really good. I'm definitely going to play more of this. Look forward to more Goblin Stone coming up in the near future. It is excellent. Uh, YouTube.com slash Bear Taffy. Missed any part of the uh, stream today? You can catch the VOD over there. Look forward to more live on Twitch here as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.